Today, we're gonna to be fishing at a all new hidden neighborhood pond. Welcome back to TCT Bass Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we are back at another pond for you guys, man. But today, this is a new pond that we have never fished and never fished on the channel before. I know some of you guys are probably thinking some of the ponds have been getting a little repetitive because we fished our two best ponds probably twice within the last two months. But now we're here at a newly discovered pond that we've never fished before on the channel. And it should be a lot of fun. It's absolutely juiced, a lot of vegetation on the sides, and it looks like a place that doesn't get fished very often. So make sure to stay tuned in. It could be a wild ride. There could be some giants in here. Could be some good fish, but hopefully we get good numbers today. Make sure to stay tuned. Make sure you please like and subscribe, and I'll see you at the water. Let's go. Alright you guys, we are now here at the new pond for the channel, man. We're going to start off with the 6 inch Divine swim bait here with a nice 6 inch jig head as well. We kind of upgraded from our last swim bait and now we have a more legit little swim jig head there. Looks more realistic, kind of matches my color. Dang, this water clarity is really good. You can see all in there right now. Let's cast down there and uh, see what we can't get into here. That's a good one, boys. Stay down. Oh. Let's go. We got him. Six cents. Divine swim bait. Let's check him out here. Oh yeah, I don't know where the bait is. That's a good one. Let's go. That's what we need right there, a whole lot of grass. Oh yeah, right in that top lip right there. Let's check that out, man. Right in that top lip. Oh, oh he's a crazy bass. He's lost his mind. Check that out, man. Divine swim bait to the dome. He's not loving it. We're gonna get that bait out of his mouth real quick because he's not having this swim bait at all. Not a fan. Honestly, didn't even know I had him hooked at first and then I just, there was a lot of tension so I just kind of tugged on that line. And boom, take a look at that bass, man. He's a little beat up on his face here. Check this out. Check out that little, he got some damage on his side of his face right there. But man, he looks like a good bass overall. We're gonna get him back in the water. He's a feisty sucker. Take a look at this bass though, real quick, before we get a nice release on him. Beautiful bass, beautiful horizontal line, really. Probably a couple pounder, but either way, man, great way to start off the day. And hopefully this pond can keep producing because man, this is a good start. Let's go get a release on him and get it right back in the water. Let's go. All right, you guys. First bass of the day here at the new pond, man. Take a look at that fish, man. Beautiful looking bass to start today. Good mouth on him. We're gonna give him a nice pitch right back in the water here. And he swam right off. Beautiful way to start the day. Let's keep going. All right, you guys, first bass of the day under our belt. Super fast and fairly easy as well. What we're throwing today is we got the uh, Six Sense Jig Head right here with the Six Sense Divine Swim Bait. We threw this a couple videos ago and had a lot of success with just a different jig head, but now we got a more realistic jig head. As you can tell here, and it absolutely paid off here super fast and super effectively. So make sure to stay tuned, man. Hopefully they keep biting like this because it could be an absolute field day out here. So make sure to stay tuned and let's go catch another one. Let's go. All right, you guys, like I said, man, six cents, Divine Swim Bay absolutely smoked him to get the day started. Beautiful fish to start the day. Little battle scars on him, but good fish overall. We're going to keep fishing this swim bait because, I mean, it looks like they might eat on that a little bit. So we're going to see, man, new pond, new bait. And so far, it's looking good, man. He ate it pretty quick there. So we're just going to keep fishing and hope they keep munching it because, man, that's going to be a great way. This probably replicates fairly well the bait that they're feeding on right now which would, I would imagine, be shed, but we'll have to see, man. We're just gonna keep fishing it along this, uh, down this line right here, that's pretty much where we just caught that fish. And uh, maybe we can lean into another one. He ate it pretty quick. So let's see if they'll do that again. Honestly, thought I was hung on some grass at first because a few casts before that, I did get a cast full of grass. So I was a little concerned, like, oh, great, we got another thing of grass. And then I was like, all right, you know what? Grass doesn't swim. 
So then we leaned into it a little bit and then boom, we got us, we stuck it in his dome and uh, it was perfect. Ooh, that felt like a fish. Surprised it wasn't. Could have been a log or something, but that could be good when it comes to getting a bite. Could throw a Texas rigged, Texas rigged ridge worm down there and work that lumber that's at the bottom, see if there's any fish holding on to it. All right, you guys, we're now switching up to the six cents ridge worm here. This is the plum fleck color 10 inch worm. It's an absolute giant, but recently off camera, I've been kind of catching them on this. So we have it tied up, ready to go here. And uh, we're gonna try to see if we can get on a fish. While I was fishing that uh, swim bait, I would hit a couple logs or something. It felt like wood down there. So I'm trying to fish that wood or that brush, whatever that was that I was hitting with this six cents rigid worm and see if we can't hook onto a fish down there that uh, is just patrolling the bottom and trying to stay out of these this hot texas heat man because it is hot it's like 96 today man it's absolutely scorching i know there's got to be a brush pile or something somewhere in this pond man there's so much vegetation around it there's got to be some in it as well we just got to find it as you can tell after the first cast, man, there's obviously grass and stuff down there. Some mush. So that's a good sign that there's at least stuff down there and it's not like some concrete bottom or anything. But we can obviously tell it's not a concrete bottom just by looking at the pond. But man, you never know with all this stuff and you never really know nowadays. So far it feels like a bunch of mush at the bottom. Not really anything we can really utilize right now and fish. I'm trying to figure out where that log is. I haven't hit it. I haven't hit that log yet. We're going to cast down the bank. This bank line right here and see if we can't hook onto one this way this is pretty much the same cast we made when we caught that one fish so maybe something similar here could uh, help us out felt something there y'all felt like it was maybe some rock or sticks or something down there All right, we're about to make the switch back to the swim bait here. The ridge worm really is not doing what I thought it would. Actually, it's not even necessarily that. I just don't really feel anything at the bottom that this ridge worm is really going to do. It just feels like mud or like a bunch of dead grass and nothing really down there that's going to really benefit us with this ridge worm. So we're going to switch back to the swim bait here in just a second as soon as this cast comes in. Right about now. So let's pack up the uh, ridge worm here. Look at that. We're just collecting a bunch of grass that's useless and not really going to help us out here. So we're gonna pack up the ridge worm here. Oh wow, it's no longer 10 inches. The tail is gone. I wonder if I got eaten or if I slung it off. But either way, we're gonna pack up the ridge worm here and uh, pick up our swim bait and get back to work. So let's go get it and let's lock in. All right, you guys, we got our swim bait back. And uh, the ridge worm is honestly normally a bait that's pretty good, but we're gonna rock with the swim bait now because that's what they've eaten here. So we're gonna keep throwing it and uh, cover more water in this pond because we haven't fished nearly the whole pond yet. So we want to kind of cast around and find ways to catch them and this swim bait is something that has been productive today so we're going to try to fish it see if we can't get another eat on it hopefully not lose it as well it's a little bluegill right there All right, man, let's cast down this bank line here and see if we can't slow reel a bass right into 
our swim bait let it sink a little bit and give it a little just give it a little bit of action there and see if we can't hook onto one there's an alligator gar that's not what we want let's try another one here let's try a different right under that tree that might be a good cast not good enough they say oh god almost yeeted that into the tree All right, you guys, and that's gonna do it for this video, man. It was an absolute grind today at this pond. Honestly, we were literally here for probably two or three hours and just didn't really get on fish like we wanted to whatsoever. We had one bite on the Divine Swim Bait and one actual fish that we landed. An absolute grind today in the absolute blistering heat down here in South Texas, man. It's been an absolute, I mean, I've said grind five times. That's exactly what it was today, man. We're hopefully gonna get on some more bass soon. It was, it was tough today, man. Hopefully we don't have another video like this anytime the rest of the summer. Man, either way, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you very much for sticking through the thick and the thin because, man, today was a thick patch, man. It was rough. But, man, either way, thank y'all for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you please like and subscribe. And I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. And until next time, we catch more bass. Peace out.